Our film actually is really truly based on true events, uh, on the folklore, but also on actual reports, investigative reports that happened at the time. The idea that this small town in Colorado was once perhaps the mecca, if you will, uh, for Satan worshippers, when this supposed Satan worshipping was in its heyday and, and happening out there. We were never out to to look at any kind of defamation of the town or the people. We weren't being critical of it. This was simply research that uh, Summer had done uh, when she created and, and wrote the script and the screenplay of a story of these things that supposedly happened in this part of the country. I started interviewing people that I'd gone to school with about things that were going on around Manitou Springs and it's kind of interesting because half the people didn't even know what was going on there and then half were just like really freaked out and didn't want to go down there. There was definitely something that was going on down there growing up and I never went down there. I was scared. So that's really kind of where I came up with the story. And when we were filming it was not that far after they had all these intense forest fires in the area. You had these like acres and acres of burned out woods and all these just like barren uh, charred tree trunks and and that also was was kind of really creepy and I think added a, a wonderful element to uh, to the locations. Colorado had some kind of flood that was historic for a long time. So as I, before I was about to go out to Colorado, I'm getting updates from people from Colorado like, uh, your locations are being totally washed out. Are you aware it's raining here? We've got huge floods. Like, and it's just like I'm getting this anxiety of like, people are asking me, what are we going to do? And I'm like, until we get to the shoot, I honestly don't know. But it ended up stopped raining before I got there, but when I got on the ground in Colorado, I realized mm, some of our major locations had been washed out and we didn't have access to them anymore. So that was a huge, like, freak out. <laughs> what are we gonna do? So I spent two days of location scouting before all the rest of the crew got there and the other actors and whatnot, driving around all of Southern Cal Colorado trying to find new locations and what could we use. Colorado was just wonderful to film and the people were so friendly and uh, so warm and embracing of it. In a lot of horror films you're stuck on movie sets and in sound stages and on locations and inside haunted houses. So the idea of being go able to go in this open expanse uh, and shooting all these different fantastic outdoor locations was great. The city itself was amazing to try to help us make this movie and it made me really proud to be from Colorado and to say I want to shoot another film there. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, ready. So how do I look? The same. What's that supposed to mean, Bradley? Hmm? I don't know, it's just... It's <laughs> um, okay. Action. Hi, I'm Taylor Skye, and welcome to my show, Outsiders. Woo, yeah! Thank you, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So this is a show about how people outside a local legend are affected by them. Mm -hmm. Does the network know you're doing this? No, but when I they see what a great job I do at their small town legends bit, and I give them this, then they're sure to give me my own show. I mean, how can they let this talent go to waste? Well, you always were talented. Thank you. So you record the professional interviews with that camera, and your job is to record how our crew is affected by the local legends. Got it. So I'll need you to put on the tripod, and you guys need to get your bikes on. So Angel, tell the camera a little bit about yourself. Well, there's a town near where we grew up called Manitou Springs. And I believe the legends are true that it's the devil worshiping capital of the Western world. It's a hoax. It's just made up by parents to keep their kids in line. That footage was a fake. Uh, I don't know. You know, wait till you hear the interviews. They'll tell you. Crazy stuff happens there. Have you seen anything? Mm, no, I haven't, but you know I can feel things. Oh, that's right. I forgot about your ESP. It's not that. It's just... I'm in tune with the vibrations of Mother Earth. So, Bradley, what do you think? Well, I don't know about her powers, but I don't go to Mana too much. It's pretty freaky. Anyway, that's Bradley. Brad. Bradley, what would you like to say to the camera about yourself? Well, I grew up here and I worked at the local college teaching film, and I wanted to just say thank you to Taylor for getting me the spec job so I can get more work doing camera. Yeah, well, you can thank Henry for getting sick and leaving me without a cameraman at the last minute. Thank you, Henry. Woohoo, Henry! <laughs> Manitou Springs, a small town on the outskirts of Colorado Springs. Population, 4,992. Anton LaVey, founder of the Church of Satan and author of the Satanic Bible, was rumored to have lived here, which may have spurred Satanic interest here. The question is, is the satanic panic still happening in this small town years after the rest of the country has put it to bed? Yeah, and he was born on April 30th, 1930 in Cook City, Illinois. <laughs> okay, uh, did you bring the book? Yeah, it's right here. Uh, where did you get that? I bought it online. <laughs> you, you know what page? Um, I think I marked it. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Okay. <clears throat> a choice must be made if a conjurer is great thyself or another's force, if thou choice is to undertake the latter, ye must abide and serve by the decree. The victim must be justified of the wrath due to the conjurer's hex. Dust it is of the most importance that it is summoned and that they are beyond repugnant purging the world of its pestilence. Did you know you're here on a satanic holiday? Well, yeah, the book says that the autumn equinox is a very special day. Yeah, I know I planned it that way. I mean, if Manitou Springs really is the devil worshiping capital of the Western world, there's sure to be satanic activity here, but I think it's all just BS. Um, you should respect it more. It's a real religion, you know? Are you seriously offended because I don't believe in Satanists? No, no, I, I just, I don't want you offending any of them and them coming after us, you know? Okay, well, I doubt that is one, so I think we're okay. And I keep forgetting about your weirdness. Well, it is kind of weird here, don't you think? Both of you? Wow, you guys should date or something. You're like two peas in a pod. I'm, I'm done anyway. So why are we here again? This woman didn't want to do an interview at her house. She's super secretive about this, so you have to be quiet. This should be a good interview. Why is everyone here so weird? Are we rolling, Brad? Yeah, we're rolling. Sometimes in that old abandoned building at the top of the hill, the lights go on and off by themselves. So have you ever been able to confirm a satanic presence around Manitou? I don't like to talk about it. Please, ma'am, this could help us stop it from happening in your town. Can you turn the camera off? It's off. 
When I was a kid, my family and I went camping outside Manitou. My kid brother and I decided to go hiking to this rock quarry. When we got there, we came across some sort of devil worshiping site. There was stuff hanging from the trees and symbols like a pentagram painted on the rocks. There was a fire pit and there was this altar with... What did you see exactly? They said it wasn't blood, but I know it was. It was fresh too. And later that night, my brother went missing. There was this horrifying scream and we never saw him again. They didn't even file a missing persons report. That's what they do here. That's how afraid they are of them. Would you be able to show where the site was on the map? It was around this area, but I got out of there and I'm never going back. Same area as the other lady. It's basically, you know, I think people just make stuff up to try to scare people. Well, my friend found a pile of bones and they were burned underneath an upside down cross. That's the sign of the devil, you know? Yeah, can we go? Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's a quiet town. We keep to ourselves. We don't like strangers and we don't like questions. You understand? Okay, well, thank you for your time. They're very secretive about what goes on around here. Oh, what, what do you mean, they? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to be on camera. I mean, staring at us. What man? That. Hmm, interesting town. This stuff is so cool. Hey, Angel, come check this stuff out. I think this is Indy's chalice over here. Okay, Brad. Hi. Could you confirm that there's satanic activity taking place here? We don't talk about those people. Hell, I'll talk about it. I saw two slaughtered dog heads off to the side of a hiking trail. Don't know if that was a satan ritual, but wouldn't normal. Would you be able to point out where it was on a map? Hell yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think we got it. I don't know, we just wait here until I just... Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Hi. Hi. I'm interviewing people for a new show called Investigating Urban Legends. Would you mind if I asked you a question? Cool, yeah, that's cool. Do you believe there's satanic worship present in your town? Oh, well, we went into a cave over by Rainbow Falls. Uh, there were some candles burned on top of a 666. Oh, I've been there. Yeah, it's, it's over that way. You guys can go check it out, but I stay away. Hmm. Scary. Excuse me, sir. Hi, I'm Taylor. I work for a show called Investigating Urban Legends. I've been told that you had an encounter with a local satanic group around here, and I was wondering if you could describe it for me, please. You want me to describe what happened that night? Or show it to you? called Investigating Urban Legends. It'll only take us a couple minutes. We could just do it outside here. All right, but I don't want anyone here to know about it. Oh, we can be quiet. I'm Taylor Skye, interviewing a local resident of Manitou Springs. Jamie, what can you tell us about your devil-worshipping encounter? Well, we climbed on a tree to these caves. There were dead animals hanging from the trees by their necks. They were gruesome looking. Bodies devoid of flesh, eyes gouged out. In the caves, there were these scary images. An altar with candles. We got out of there really quickly. Would you be able to tell us where it was on a map? I don't exactly remember, but I can try. Here. Um, probably in that direction. There's also a story of Gold Camp Road. A bunch of kids were trapped on a bus as the hell collapsed on them. They tried to escape, but 
they died. Some people are saying it's satanic sacrifice or something. Really? But that's all I know. I, I, go, oh, goodbye. Wow. I told you. Scary. We should check the tunnel out. So here's the first of our investigations. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? So when you get into the tunnel, pull over and turn the car off so the lights are off. And supposedly the kids will push the car through the tunnel and there'll be handprints, kids' handprints on the back of the bumper. At least that's what my friend Annie told me. Right? I'm sure it was just some local kids playing a prank. No. I bet it was real. There's definitely a supernatural phenomenon. Most people just can't feel it. So ridiculous legend number one. Hmm. Here we go. So this is Gold Camp Road Tunnel. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm freaked out, guys. It is kind of spooky. Shh. I heard something. Shut up. Oh! 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 Go! Go! Start the car! Oh. Why? What are you screaming about? Shut oh. up! I heard something. I heard the kids. What? What kids? I heard them. What kids? You know, the kids in the tunnel. Huh? Go! Oh. Oh. Ah. Whoa! Pull over. I'm freaking out. All right, let's check the bumper then, okay? I'm not getting out. Get out. Oh, we gotta get out. Yeah. No! Oh, well, looky there. What? I, I know I heard something. Did you hear it, Brad? I don't think so. What? Angel, you're a wuss. Let okay, me play it back. Yeah, let's see the playback. It's gonna be there. Mm-hmm, I'm sure it is. I heard something. Shut up! Ah! 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 Huh. What? Oh. Can we just go, please? Death comes to you on the harvest moon. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi, I'm conducting interviews about satanic rituals in Manitou, and I was wondering if you want to die. No. The fury of Satan comes in four days. Take heed. Stay out of it. It's none of your concern. I love the water. It used to be so beautiful down here, but I don't understand why everybody has to do this. Whoa, what's that? Angel, up here. Hi, we're at Rainbow Falls in Manitou Springs. Angel, can you tell us what you have over there? Well, there's definitely a presence here. Well, pick one up. I'm not picking one of those up. It's a candle, my goodness, it's not gonna hurt you. Pick it up. So can you describe it for the camera, please? It's a burnt candle from an offering that I should not be picking up. Did that old lady or the man really freak you out? Yes. So I think we got some good interviews today, huh, ladies? Yeah, it's not enough. I need something that's going to set me apart from everyone else. <laughs> we could always go film this thing. That's actually a really good idea. I was kidding. Didn't you guys hear those stories? No, oh, that's a great idea. If you could get the ritual on camera, you'd be golden. And it was all basically in the same area on the map, right? Yeah, but that's a really big area. Well, how many days do you have? The equinox is in three and I have till then. So why not? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You don't find anything and the show was a hoax. Um, hello. She said in four days, the fury of Satan would come and I'm dying on the harvest moon. So she's out in three. I don't know. Guys, I really think we're messing with something we shouldn't be. Come on. I mean... Angel, I really... I, I, this could be my big, big break. I gotta do it. Please? Oh. Fine. 
Go! Yes. Go! Okay, well, we're going to need camping gear. Oh, we got some. We were just went camping, and, and I can get uh, extra camera Wait, batteries. who's we? Oh, like I told you. I yeah. Mean, me and Angel have been hanging out. It's no big deal. Right, Angel? Right, Brad. Just two good old friends hanging out camping. Okay, let's go then. Okay, what the hell are you doing? It's a freaking candle. Relax. <sighs> you shouldn't do stuff like that, Taylor. It's disrespectful. Oh my gosh, you need to get laid. Oh, whatever. Ange, come on. Go away. So these are the interviewee circles and we're gonna look for the caves first. Okay, here we go. Um, Taylor, where are you going? Shouldn't we stay on the path? I don't think we're gonna find any satanic rituals on a main hiking trail, do you? No, I'm with you. Um, okay guys, but we should stick together, you know? The devil comes when you're alone. Oh, real funny, Brad. No animal sacrifices, no graffiti, nothing, just a forest. This is gonna be an easy gig for you with nothing to record. <laughs> I hope not, I wanna see some devil works first. You should be careful what you wish for, you know? It might happen. That'd be sweet. Yeah, it would. Hey Taylor, it smells almost as good as you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh please, he's not that funny. What do you see? Get over here and get this on camera. What is that? It's like a pentagram. Oh, that's proof. That doesn't mean anything. It's probably just some kids screwing around. And you know there's <laughs> supposed witchcraft here too. Okay, two pentagrams? How about that? That's not real evidence. Anyone could do that. <sighs> Don't draw that. Why? It pulls energy towards us. <sighs> Oh, I am done with both of you for the day. I don't know, you know her better than me now. What's your deal? Don't touch me. So are you really gonna act like last week never happened? No. No. So what's going on with us, Brad? We're still friends, nothing's changed. Friends? Oh, okay, we weren't friends last week. Will you keep your voice down? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you afraid she'll hear? <sighs> hey, Taylor, your boyfriend banged me last week, seeing as he doesn't have the balls to tell you. Ugh. Ugh. You are such a jerk. <sighs> ah! What was that? Sounded like a scream. I'm gonna go check it out. No, Taylor. We can't separate. Don't you remember what that lady said about the screaming and her brother? Taylor! Taylor, don't go too far. What? Taylor! Where'd the light go? I don't know. I don't see it. Why would she leave? Taylor! Taylor, stop screwing around. Satan has the power to do this. There it is. Taylor? Taylor, you Taylor, okay? Back this way. Taylor. Taylor! Wait, it's gone? It's gone? What? What happened? I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. Why are you just gonna look for me? Damn. Yeah. Where were you? Well, I dropped my flashlight and it went out and it took me like 30 minutes to feel my way back. I mean, wait, why were you looking for me in that direction? Because that's the way you left. No, it wasn't I left in that direction. You know, sometimes they say when the energies are out of whack that people can transfer through portals. When did your flashlight stop working? Well, about 200 yards out. Why are you asking me that? Because uh, your flashlight started moving around in some crazy direction right after the time you screamed. Screamed? I didn't scream. I told you guys, please. 
shouldn't be here. Wait a minute, T. Why did you say you're gone for like 30 minutes? You're gone like for like five. Uh, no, I wasn't. I've been calling your name for so long, my throat actually hurts from it. Oh, what? What's this? All right, work. <sighs> Whatever. There wasn't anything out there anyway. <gasps> what was that? It's the same noise. <sighs> Sounds like screaming. No way, I'm sure it was nothing. Does it sound like nothing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, good morning. <laughs> Would be if I got enough sleep. Are you filming already? Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, thanks to you. Me? I wasn't the one screaming. Did you figure out what that was? No idea. Did you do this? <laughs> Why would I draw a dumb circle in the dirt with weird lettering? I thought it was your projection circle or something. Where are the letters? Bro, I probably messed it up dancing around over there. It was a B. Mm -hmm. <gasps> was it Hebrew? I couldn't read it. This is serious. Yeah, well, maybe it means we're gonna get something good. Are you ready yet? Because I don't want to camp here any longer than I have to. It's messing with my pores. Rockford with a tree, right? Yep. Well, there's a tree. There's a valley over there. Come on, let's go! Oh, I cannot believe you are so excited. I mean, look how affected you are by these legends. My show is gonna be a hit and I'll be a star! <laughs> oh, Taylor, what are you doing? I wanna film everything. Oh, that's just <laughs> sick. Day two, I think we've located the tree that one of our interviewees described. It is just as she described. Dead cats hanging from it and an entrance to a cave. Oh. Angel, would you calm down? No, don't you see that? There are dead cats hanging from a tree! Still doesn't mean anything. Oh. What do you mean it doesn't mean anything? There are dead cats hanging from a tree! How does that not mean anything? Well, the Bible of Satan says you can't offer up dead animals. Thank you for the information, Brad, because they obviously did. Ugh. Well, the Bible says you can't. Ugh. Doesn't matter if they aren't supposed to. The point is, they did. All we see are some dead animals. It could just be some kids screwing around. Killing cats isn't screwing around, Taylor. Here, give me the camera. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. All right, so it looks like the only way down is down this tree, so I'll go first, all right, guys? I can't touch them. All right, Angel, well, I'll find a way right through here, okay? You won't have to touch them. Come on. You all right, Taylor? Yes, thank you. Let's go to the cave! So, do you really think we're gonna find something up here? No. What is this place? No. Who comes up here? Probably just kids, I guess. Kids? Oh, this is kind of freaky, you know? Oh. Don't Careful, trip. girls, don't trip. Oh. Upside down crosses. Okay, that's proof. Um, 
That's kind of weird. Who would write that? Who would misspell tonight? <laughs> exactly, kids. Oh, there's a love note for you up here. Look at that, Angel. That's really funny, Taylor. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brad, there's another cave. Um, where are we going? Into the scary regions of the Netherland. Ew. Why does it smell like Ugh. sulfur? Ooh, what's this over here? Where? That's blood. That is blood, Taylor. <sighs> That's just rust. Why would there be rust on the walls of a cave? Brad, are you filming this? Yeah. <clears throat> An encounter with what appears to be satanic paraphernalia in the outskirts of a town called Manitou Springs. However, the appearance of blood is likely caused by the deposits of iron in the rocks. How was that? It was great. What did you do that for? A rock? What am I gonna do with it? Put it back, put it back! Did you drop the camera? You can't mess with their artifacts, Taylor. Really, it's just a candle. They'll know. They're gonna know. I'm freaking out. Um, I think it's still working. I'm not kidding. Well, you know what? I am not kidding about the camera either, Angel. That footage is the only thing that's standing between me being their small town legends girl and having my very own show. It's just candles, Angel. Is anyone up there? Brad, get up top and film it. No, Brad. No. Hurry. Brad, be careful. with Satanists? Awesome. We're on their trail. Let's go find them. So you can't possibly tell me you still think the legend is fake. Absolutely. <laughs> Why? Because you don't see people running around cutting off heads of chickens and a guy with a pitchfork? First of all, Lucifer doesn't run around with a pitchfork. <laughs> is that what you're calling him now? Do you even know who Lucifer was? Yes, Brad. He's one of the four crown princes. His name means the bringer of light. He's the lord of the air. Intellectualism and enlightenment. You have one more day, Lucifer. I cannot believe you get excited to see people murder innocent animals and drink blood. That's sick. That's because Manitou is not the devil-worshipping capital of the Western world, and you're not going to see any rituals like you're picturing in the movies. I really, really do hope you're right. I am right. <laughs> okay. Well, when they do come, I'm going to tell them that you're the non-believer. You do that. Hm? I believe. I know you do. I'm starting to wonder why. What does that mean? Nothing, it just seems like you know an awful lot about this stuff, Brad. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of into it. That's what Taylor asked me to film. <laughs> no, no, Taylor asked you to film so that you could get a job with the show and move to LA like you guys always planned in high school. That's not true. Oh, really? Been dating much in LA, Taylor? Yep, that's what I thought. You know what? He's the one who left me. He's the one who decided not to come. I just did what we always said we were gonna do together.
I'm sorry, let me start again. <clears throat> I'm Taylor Sky. I'm reporting from my tent. And er You know, I, I never wanted to leave you. I couldn't come because I didn't want to fail out there. I didn't want to fail you. So you made me do it all by myself. And I've regretted that decision every day since you left. And now you're back and I don't want to lose you again. I can't stay here, Brad. I wasn't asking you to. So what are you asking? You need a roommate in LA? Really? <laughs> I take that as a yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. What about Angel? Well, let's move me first, but I think a change would be good for her. Hey, Angel, this one's for you. Amongst the white sorcery rites, the flock calls upon the forces of darkness to align with Thou's plot. The Satanists must join forces with these rulers to fully utilize the powers of the underworld and aid in Thou's strength to intertwine the common goals of smashing the foe to oblivion. Well, well what was that? What? Oh, it's something just came in front of the camera. We're both sitting right here. No, seriously, I just saw something. Well, play the camera back then. No, it's I'm running low on batteries. Here, Angel, want to try? No, thanks. What was that? I don't know. What the hell was that? I, I don't know. Guys, we're safe, right? I mean, we're safe. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much? What does that mean? We're in a tent, Angel. How's that safe at all? Because it's probably just an animal. It's not Satan worshippers. What kind of animal makes that noise? Ooh. Did you hear it? Yeah, I'll go check it out. No! I'll be right back. Brad! Brad! Don't leave! What? what? Why did you let him leave? Because he's got to get it on camera. Why didn't you go? He's the cameraman. Oh. <gasps> you guys are not going to believe what I saw. I walked like three miles. You out. just left. Whatever. I, I saw this circle of gl red glowing uh, uh, pentagrams hanging from the trees. What? Let's see it on your camera. The battery died, but come on, I'll, I'll show you. Check it out. No! Okay. Okay. Get the get the camera. Oh, you guys are crazy. You wanna come? No. Chicken. Don't leave me! Ugh. I bet last night was a warning. A warning for what? Because you knocked that candle over. Oh Lord, I cannot even deal with you right now. It was scarier than the first night, and it was closer. I can feel it. Someone was there. It's the wilderness. There are animals, there are noises, there are things that go bump in the night. The Satan worshipers could have killed someone in our place. What are you talking about? Do, do you even hear yourself? I hear myself just fine. I don't think you understand the magnitude of what we're getting into here. We could die, Tay. Didn't you hear what that lady just said? 
well, the book says they aren't supposed to kill humans. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. The slaughtering of a spawn during satanic rites is beyond measure. The use of a baby is prized selection of a Satanist and should be obtained at any cost. Hmm. Last time I checked, Taylor, a baby was a human. You've got to read between the lines, Tay. I am not hearing this right now. You are tired and your mind is overreacting. Can we have one more day? Can we please just get through it? You really think that was an animal? Yes, I do. Well, okay. I didn't know that animals could scream. Let's go find some Satan worshipers, Taylor. Hey, there's something up here. What is that? I don't know, but it looks fun. Hey, Brad, get there. There's a skull over here. Get it on camera. Oh, that's freaky. Angel, come check this stuff out. It's crazy. Yeah, um, no, I, I'm good, thanks. Uh, I'm going to stay over here as a non-sacrifice. Suit yourself. Hey, Brad, uh, I'm ready over here. What seems to be our second major discovery of satanic paraphernalia? The site matches the ritual description in the Bible of Satan. However, the fire is cold, and there is no telling when the site was last used for any rituals. Cut. Maybe we should move our tent. Why? Because it's pretty close to the ritual site. It doesn't matter. What do you mean? It doesn't matter where we are. If they want us, they're going to get us. And then they're going to kill us. And then we're going to die. Can we just go and... home then? <laughs> no. Nothing's been proof enough for you yet. Dead cats? No. Blood? No. Altars? Fire pits? No. So you know what? We'll just get it on camera, and then you can take it to your show and show your fine investigative reporting skills. Will you be happy then, Taylor? Why are you so pissed off at me? You're the one that suggested I come document this stuff anyway. No, I wasn't. It was Brad. I uh, know. You suggested it. I just thought it was a cool idea. Well, I guess I didn't realize what we were getting into. Screaming in the middle of the night? Crazy meadows? How was I to know? It's not real. Oh, okay. You keep telling yourself that, Taylor. It's about as real as our friendship. Whoa! Is this about me and Brad? No! I don't give a damn about you two. I just want to get your footage and get the hell out of here. Ugh! Ange. No, you know what? I am sick and tired of this. If you're jealous because I've always gotten the guy, you should be. You wonder why guys don't want to be with you? This is why. You see, I'm the bitch, but that's what makes you the sweet one. You know what? You hate me so much, why don't you get your own life and stop living through me? You guys! No! You are not innocent in all this either, Brad! Oh, You are not the peacemaker and turn that damn camera off! It is not showing your amazingly talented girlfriend's good stuff. Brad, did you write this on my mirror? Angel breaking my mirror isn't going to scare me. <laughs> Brad, that's not funny. We're going to go get some firewood for later. You want to come? No. All right, well, we'll be right back, and then we'll go, all right? Brad, I said that's not funny. Brad? Brad, seriously? Brad! Brad! Brad? Brad? Brad?
Oh, are you filming me? Oh, please. Yeah, you're on. It's 10.30 p.m., and we're about to seek out our last little bit of proof. It is the equinox, and tonight, if there's any satanic rituals going on in Manitou, we will find them. Earlier today, we found a fire pit site. In the Bible, it says to have one white candle on the right side of the altar and one black candle on the left side of the altar, which this did. It says to have a pentagram or a baffinet above the altar, which this did. So, so far, this appears to be the only possible legitimate satanic ritual site. We're nearing the site from this afternoon. It's 11 p.m. We're going to sneak up to it, see if there's any activity, and film it. Oh man, it's a uh -oh. hoax. <laughs> What'd I tell ya? We're gonna go film it, be right back. I'm coming with you guys. What? I thought you were scared. Well, there's obviously nothing going on here, so I'm fine. These candles look different. Hey, Taylor. Brad, I'm over here. Brad. So here we are at the site on one of the holiest days of the calendar year. Therefore, we can conclude. Can you tell him, Angel? There are no devil worshippers in Manitou. It's a hoax. Taylor was right. I'll prove it. <laughs> oh, Angel. <laughs> What? If there were devil worshippers around here, I'd be cursed right now. It's apparently just a hoax to scare people. <clears throat> Manitou, I relinquish you from your title of the devil-worshipping capital of the Western world. <laughs> Brad, set the camera down. Taylor, come on, come on, guys. Let's get it together. Yeah, come together, all together. Cause I ain't afraid of no Satan worshippers. I ain't afraid of no Satan worshippers. No, uh-uh, no. Uh-uh, with your pentagram and your backwards cross. Come on, guys. I ain't afraid of no Satan worshippers. Uh-uh. <laughs> and it looks like everything is back to normal. Yeah! Woo -hoo! All right, Taylor, let's wrap this thing up and go home, huh? <laughs> Signing off in Manitou Springs, after I've dispelled a local legend that has plagued this town for decades, reporting for Investigating Urban Legends, I'm Taylor Skye. I mean, we helped a little bit, too. Jesus, cut already. <gasps> Did you guys hear that? Maybe, maybe it's that lady's brother that went missing. Brad, turn the light on. Brad. I got it. What? Where's Brad? I don't know. His camera's missing. Um, maybe, maybe he went to film the noise. Without waking us? I don't know. Brad! Brad, are you outside? What? Why is the zipper open? What is it doing in the zipper? I don't know. <laughs> go, go, go. Maybe he just went pee. Maybe he just went pee, right? Um, I don't know, maybe. Angel? Angel? I don't, I don't know how far the car is. This is a piece of angel's shirt. I don't know how I got here. I thought I went the opposite direction, but I am at the ritual site and there's satanic activity taking place. There are people dressed in black and they're chanting. And I think I hear a baby crying, but I can't see it. I can't find Brad or Angel anywhere. It's 3 a.m. and I've got to document this.
battery. <sighs> what the? What do you want from me? <sighs> I gotta grab a battery. If you have any information leading to the whereabouts of any of these individuals, call our hotline. The number is on your screen. I'm Christina Pascucci. Thank you for watching. Anton LaVey, founder of the Church of Satan and author of the Satanic Bible, was rumored to have lived here, which may have spread up at the a major network picked up the show investigating urban legends, but before the show even aired, they changed their programming. They also kind of. Well, my friend found a pile of bones and they were burned upside down under an upside down cross. Mm. Okay, 14, take three. Sometimes, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So you gotta drive up into the tunnel there and when we get inside, pull over and uh, turn the car off so the lights are off. The kids are supposed to come up behind and push the tunnel through. 
The footage you are about to see has only been edited for ease of viewing due to multiple cameras and lack of effect. We're, oh, one, one more night. <laughs> Camera speeds, mark it. 34, take one. There we go. Okay, settle. I mean. Good. Here we go. Hold on. What's this one? This uh, one's. What is this? Uh, we're gonna put a this is the electric light parade on Main Street. Okay. okay. Any, any scene? 38, 33. Give me anything. 95, whatever, I don't care. Okay, here we go, and... <laughs> That's the same as the sure. That's <laughs> Okay, here we go. Where is my damn shirt? Uh, I think the 80s called for it to come down. <gasps> What's wrong with her? Totally tripped. <laughs> Totally tripped over that wire. Can we turn that thing off for a bit? I kind of want to show you something. I want to see it. <laughs> Team take four. Okay, everyone is settling. Set. And hold. I don't. We're going to cut it. Sorry, I got you guys in the background. Cut it. It's not a problem. You in the background? <laughs> Fine, let's keep going. <laughs> Horizontally. No, that way. So I see you. Like this. Go like this. Hold on. Go ahead and mark it. Alright. Got like three marks now. Good. Four. Four. Team take eight. Ladies and gentlemen, Angel is going to accompany us to the site. Taylor, I love you and I'm your biggest fan. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it.